1. Boxes. This tall box is a table which is installed at the bottom. This one is a milling machine which is installed on top of the table. And the last is accessories. 2. Unboxing. Let me unbox the table first. Cut the plastic wraps. Open the top and pull the sides. Bring the table on the floor. Cut the plastic bag with the blade facing outward so that the blade doesn't scratch the machine. Unbox the milling machine likewise. 3. Milling machine setting. Turn the table facing the same way as the machine. There are grip signs at the side of the machine. It's easier to place the machine by griping here. Please be careful that the machine is very heavy. Align the machine to the edge. Unbox the accessories likewise. 4. What's in the accessories box? This is a small accessory box. These are items that you need while using the machine. This is a dust collector. These are the main body and the filter of dust collector. This is a compressor. These are a water tank rack and a water tank. 5. Opening the back cover. Let me open the back cover to connect the cables. Use number 2 hex key wrench to open the back cover. You don't have to remove all screws, just make them loose. I'm going to organize the machine like the picture. Remove the mount. Lift the cover up and pull it out. You must remove this red bracket first. Use number 5 hex key wrench to unscrew the bracket. Removing the bracket is very important. There would be a big problem that the axis of the machine won't move when the bracket is installed. You must remove the bracket before running the machine. Remove the bolts completely. 6. Organizing cables. There are cable bundles at each side. Remove the red cable ties only. There's a sensor here. Be careful not to hit the sensor while taking out the cables. The cables at the left are a power cable and a signal cable of the dust collector. Put these cables to the left hole. Take out the cable bundle at the right. Each cable is labeled. Just connect the cable accordingly. Put these cables to the right hole. Then, fix the cables here. Organizing cables at the back is over. Turn the machine to connect cables at the front. Remove tapes attached to prevent the machine from opening while delivering. You'll find instructions inside. Remove the instructions. I'm going to organize cables from the top. Drop the compressor cables to the bottom. Bring the cables behind here. Bring the water pump cables here. Tie cables. Don't unscrew completely but loosen the screws and remove the cover by slightly raising it up. There's a mount inside that holds the sensor cable. Bring up the cables. Connect the water cable at the back and the dust collector cable in the front.
The corrugated tube is connected to this lever which converts wet and dry setting. If the tube is not connected, water can't be drained and the dust collector doesn't work. Close the cover. Connect the water pump power cable to the connector. Insertion is only possible in one direction, so find the possible side and connect it. 7. Closing the back cover and the side covers. Close the back cover after dropping all cables to the table. Unscrew four bolts at the bottom of the back cover to combine the side covers. Close the side covers in the right direction. This hole is for the water tube. The front part should go into the groove like this. Screw the bolts. Close another side in the same way. 8. Positioning the machine. Turn the machine and set the position. You must fix the position of the machine before installing the compressor, the water tank, and the dust collector because it's hard to move the machine after the compressor installation. 9. The compressor installation. Let's open the compressor cover. Unscrew these three bolts first. Loosely unscrew these two with number 3 hex key wrench. Remove the mount with number 2 hex key wrench. Lift the cover and turn it slightly forward for easier removal. This connecting part is the front of the compressor. Place it in this way. Connect the power cable, the collet hose, the ceiling hose, and the air hose. Be sure to push the hoses all the way in. Let's close the compressor cover. Since the compressor may shake, lock the screws by pressing the handle down and fixing the compressor. Screw the mount on the left. 10. The dust collector installation. Next is the dust collector installation. Open the table door completely and pull out the drawer. The drawer may peel the coating of the door. Bring the power cable and the signal cable of the dust collector and the corrugated tube out. Place the dust collector fitting to the groove here. Connect the corrugated tube by slightly turning it clockwise. Turn it all the way in. Placing a filter inside the dust collect is the next step. Open the cover and insert the filter in the direction of the arrows. Check the fitting here and here. Plaster powder or zirconia powder will be collected in it. Connect the signal cable and the power cable at the back of the dust collector. Turn the power switch on as well. The dust collector is now ready.